Hello, I'm Dr. Judy Park. I'm a surgeon and the physician-in-chief. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the Kaiser Permanente Richmond Medical Center. As the physician-in-chief, I'm responsible for the medical care delivered in this hospital. Here in our state-of-the-art facility, we perform over 6,000 surgical procedures per year. It's our goal to make certain each of our surgical patients and their loved ones feel comfortable, informed, and well taken care of. This video will give you an overview of what you can expect with most surgical experiences. Hi there, my name is Jose Duran Mendoza, and I'm a Kaiser Permanente member. I've had surgery here before, so let me provide you with a few tips. Wear loose fitting clothing, leave valuables at home, and please follow the eating and drinking guidelines you were given so that your surgery can proceed as planned. When you arrive at the hospital, you'll find that there is a free parking garage attached to the medical center. After you park, come in through the main entrance. You'll walk past the front desk to the hospital elevator bay on the left. From there, take the elevators to the second floor. This is where you'll check in. Please arrive for surgery at the time you were given so that your care team can adequately prepare you for surgery without delay. When you get to the second floor, you'll need to register. Hi, welcome to admitting. It should take a few minutes and involves filling out some paperwork. You'll need your Kaiser Permanente card and a photo ID. Hi, my name is Mia Panel, and I'm a registered nurse in pre-op. This is the area where you'll get ready for your surgery. Hi, my name is Roj, I'm one of the nurses. We'll call you from the waiting area and bring you back to pre-op. That means your family and friends will stay in the waiting room. But don't worry, you have another chance to see them before surgery. The first step is having you change into a hospital gown. This is also a great chance to use the restroom. So I'm gonna look at your armband. Make sure Next is for us to do a private history with you. We'll do some routine care, including taking your vital signs and getting your weight. Then we'll get your IV started and draw any necessary labs. Next, you'll get any medications that your surgical team has ordered. At this point, family members or friends can join you if you'd like. If you didn't lock your valuables at registration, we'll do that for you now. Unless you want your family or friends to hold on to them for you. Well, Linda, good to see you again. Do you have any questions for me today? The last thing you do in pre-op is meet your surgical team who will be caring for you. Your surgeon, anesthesiologist, or nurse anesthetist, and your OR nurse. They'll go over the surgical plan and give you an opportunity to ask questions or clarify issues. Throughout the pre-surgery process, expect to be asked multiple times your name, your Kaiser Permanente number, your date of birth, and what procedure you're here for. This is an important safety check for you and for us. Hi, my name is Jamila Churchill and I'm one of the anesthesia providers here at Richmond Kaiser Permanente Medical Center. After pre-op, you'll be taken back to the operating room where your surgical team will be waiting for you. They'll be wearing caps and masks to keep your OR suite sterile. It's normal for the room to feel cold. This helps with sterility. You'll be assisted onto the OR table where you'll be attached to heart and lung monitors and stockings that squeeze your legs. These help with circulation. The team will review the consent with you and with each other. Linda Troy, procedure is laparoscopic cholecystectomy, no site or site markings necessary. I'm Brigida, I'll be the circulator. Sequential stockings are on and activated. I'm Kayla, I'm gonna be your scrub tech today. I'm Jamila from Anesthesia. Our plan will be a general endotracheal anesthetic. This is done as a final safety check and sets expectations for the surgical team. Once we are all in agreement, the next step is to get you safely off to sleep. I'll have you take some nice, deep, relaxing breaths. This is just oxygen. Family and friends can follow your progress on the surgery board in the waiting area. We'll give them a color-coded chart so they'll know how to read the information. When the surgery is finished, your surgeon will call your family or friends 
or we'll talk to them in the waiting area to give them an update. No problems, everything went great. To learn more about the OR, you can experience our virtual reality video by clicking on the link on our website. It gives you a bird's eye view of what happens in the operating room as your OR team prepares for your procedure. Hello, my name is Gabriela Valle Ramirez, and I'm a registered nurse specializing in patient recovery after anesthesia. After surgery, you will be brought into the recovery area. As you wake up, I'll closely monitor your vital signs and pain level. It is our goal to keep your pain at a comfortable level while maintaining your safety. On average, most patients spend about an hour to an hour and a half in recovery. When you're ready to go home, I'll give you and your designated caretaker your discharge instructions. If you're staying the night with us, you will be transferred to your hospital room from here. You might be forgetful in recovery, so key information will be communicated a few times to you and to any family members or caregivers who are there with you. The pain medication, Mom, you're going to give it every four hours. We hope this video has helped you to feel prepared and reassured about your upcoming surgical procedure. If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to ask any member of our staff or give us a call. Here at the Kaiser Permanente Richmond Medical Center, we're working together to make your surgical experience with us a positive one. We're all looking forward to taking excellent care of you so you can get back to doing the things you enjoy and thrive. Thank you.